It used to be a simple question, do you want milk in your coffee? But these days, baristas juggle orders for soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, milk made from macadamias, kale, even quinoa. So why are so many people switching to plant-based milks? Are they really better for you? And which one's the best? Let's start with what they are. If you look at the ingredients on a bottle of almond milk, you might see filtered water, activated almonds, organic brown rice syrup and sea salt. There's probably some kind of gum in there and perhaps it's fortified with calcium. Sounds pretty healthy, but let's break that down. Organic brown rice syrup is just a fancy way of saying sugar. Salt is salt no matter how it's produced and activated almonds means they've been soaked in water. And on that, the proportion of water in these milks might surprise you. Consumer group Choice did a breakdown of almond milks and found that most contained between two and 14% almonds and half contained 3% or less, which means the bulk of these products is actually water. This isn't necessarily a problem, it just depends why you want to drink alternative milk. Some human populations have been drinking animals' milk for thousands of years. People love the taste of it, and it's a great source of protein, vitamins, and minerals like calcium. The Australian Dietary Guidelines recommend you eat two and a half servings of dairy a day. But about 70% of the global population can't absorb lactose, which is the sugar in milk. So finding alternatives that give us the same taste satisfaction and nutrition as cow's milk without the digestive problems is a big motivator for many people. Vegans and people with ethical concerns about animal treatment also choose these plant-based alternatives. So which alternative is the healthiest? Let's start with soy, the OG plant-based milk. It's made from either ground soybeans or soy protein powder mixed with water and sometimes there's sugar and oil added to make it mimic the taste and feel of cow's milk. A recent study compared the nutritional differences between cow's milk and almond, soy, rice and coconut milk. Soy came out on top by a long shot. It's got more protein on average than the others. It contains fibre and it's a source of good fats. Soy took a bit of a hit a few years ago over concerns about phytoestrogens found in soybeans. They're plant chemicals that mimic human estrogen, which raised warning bells about increased risk of breast cancer and hypothyroidism. While lab studies showed that phytoestrogens could increase cancer cell growth in controlled conditions, in human studies, there was actually evidence that soy could protect against some cancers. The uncertainty opened the market right up. Nut milks such as almond, macadamia and cashew are a mix of ground nuts and water and usually contain added sweeteners and salt. They tend to be low in calories and saturated fat, but they're not always calcium fortified and they tend to have low protein. Rice milk has comparable calories to cow's milk, but it tends to be high in sugar. It's usually calcium fortified, but it's low in protein. It is good for people with multiple allergies though. Coconut milk is typically low in carbohydrates and protein, so it's low in calories, but it's high in saturated fat. And as with all these milks, whether it's fortified depends on the brand. Oat milk contains fiber and some vitamins and a moderate amount of protein. They're some of the main ones, but there seems to be no end to the number of grains, nuts and seeds that people are willing to crush, mix and bottle. So, should you switch to plant-based milks? There's no harm in trying them, but don't expect them to have an overwhelming nutritional benefit. When deciding what to drink, look at the ingredients on the pack. If you're vegan and you're looking for a nutritional substitute to dairy, make sure the product is fortified with things like vitamin B12 and calcium. Cow's milk is sweet because it contains lactose. So to mimic this sweetness, a lot of these plant milks have added sugar. But beware, it goes under many aliases. Food manufacturers give sugar lots of different names to make it sound more natural. You might have heard of blackstrap molasses, agave nectar, evaporated cane juice. Does that sound healthier to you? Thanks for watching. If you've got an idea for what we should do next time, let us know. Write a comment below and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.